Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how in season 19, you're, I'm gonna allow you with just a few hours of gameplay to get to the maximum end of your seasonal artifact, which is unlock level 14, because power rank is not as important. Obviously, that comes to play for doing GMs and things like this, but to do the best builds, you wanna to get to that last area where you get the best mods. And with the dungeon coming this season, it's definitely those are probably gonna be game changers as we go into the dungeon. First off, if you're not familiar with how XP bonuses work in Destiny 2, let me give you a little refresher. So first off, when you do your seasonal rank, you start out obviously at zero. Just from getting your seasonal pass, you get a 20% XP bonus, okay? And that goes up all the way up to 32% at seasonal rank 76. The same thing for fire team. Your fire team bonus is what you get when you turn in or do activities with a fire team. And that goes everywhere from zero up to 8% at level 86. The other bonus you typically get is your ghost shell. With your ghost shell, you can do blinding light. That will give you a 12% XP bonus. And then you have a well-rested buff that you get twice the amount of XP for every XP you earn through the first five levels of your seasonal rank. Now, the way those bonuses work, I'll show you here in this formula here. If you'll notice, I put the spreadsheet together, which will be on my Discord. I'll put a link in the description how you get to it. The bonuses in Destiny 2 are multiplicative. I'm probably saying that wrong, but they multiply. And what that means is you take the amount of XP that you're going to earn and you multiply it by each of the individual bonuses you have, which can allow for some, you know, pretty overpowered XP bonuses as you get down in the seasonal pass. You also have, when you get into the season, you'll have seasonal challenges. The seasonal challenges, they give you the most XP in the game. They give you anywhere from 25,000, 200,000 XP just for completing them. Now, they do take a little bit of time, but while you're doing those, you can also be doing things like playing Gambit or Crucible or other activities, doing bounties and earning XP at the same time. My perf my personal preference, the way I would do it for the minimal amount of time is I would start first with a seasonal activity. Seasonal activity, if you see here, you're going to have a story mission. You're going to have some activities you have to bounce between. Once you're complete with those, you're going to get, based on past seasons, you're going to get somewhere around 75,000 XP for that. And I will tell you, as you look at this, this is a generalized thing. You More than likely, this is conservative. You're probably going to get more XP in most cases than what I put on this spreadsheet. So you'll see I take the 75,000 times these different bonuses, right? And that allows you to understand how much XP you're getting to 200,000 XP, which is going to give you Season Rank 2 and Artifact 4, which doesn't sound that great, but it's only an hour of gameplay. Then while you're doing all that, you'll also get Planet that will come up like Europa, where you'll have challenges where you do things in Europa, like you know, do uh, do law sectors or do uh, public events, things like that. The other thing, in addition to this, you're also going to have things that like uh, kill things with a certain weapon. If you combine those and do all of those around the same time, it only takes about a half hour. And you could have been working on some of that while you're doing the seasonal event, right? Because typically it will also have activities on those planets. Once you're done with that, after about a half hour, you'll have another 400,000 XP, right? Because your bonuses are going up, which will give a total of six, 60, 600,000 XP. Gives your seasonal rank to six and your artifact level to seven. And you'll notice that the reason I know that is because I put a handy dandy, sorry guys, but a useful a guide over here that shows you based on where your seasonal rank is, what your artifact unlocked. And again, that's on the Discord if you'd like to check that out. So at that point, you've gotten to this level in the bonuses, right? And so at that point, you could try to get to 16, which gives you a little bit more, but you can see the big gap at this point. At that point, what I would do is that's where I turn my bounties. Hopefully you saved your bounties from last season, those XP plus plus and those XP plus bounties. Normally, if you do like what I, I suggest in other videos, normally if you turn those in, you're gonna have 20 XP plus plus, you're gonna have 40 XP plus bounties. That's gonna give you plus getting all the, the challenges again, from the vendors, because again, you'll have those bounties saved up. So you have the Crucible, Gambit, all those others. You're getting about 540,000 XP. But if your bonus is because of when you're turning it now, you're actually gonna get 750,000. And you're gonna do that across all three characters. And you'll notice as you're doing that, you'll notice in these calculations that your XP that you're getting is actually going up. And you'll see, boom, boom, look how quickly your XP is going up. At that point, you're pretty close to getting to that 14th. At that point, you could do it however you want to. You could go in and just do bounties on the moon. You could you know, grind lost sectors, how, public events, because public events actually will give a ton more XP and I haven't even accounted for that. Those are recent changes that came in one of the recent TWABs. What I do is I do the 100K Nightfalls, three strikes and challenges around that because that gives me another 200,000 pretty easily and it's not a lot of gameplay because the other ones typically are Gambit or Crucible and those can take a little bit. But for these, these are pretty easy to grind through. And at that point, which is three hours of gameplay, Okay, and that includes finishing the story missions and everything else. I'm already up to artifact level 14. And at that point, you know, if I can get to 16, 
right? If I can get to artifact level 16 down here, which gives me access on that last track to three mods. And at that point, three mods, you can go either way because there's usually a couple that aren't as useful or they're not as useful for certain builds. That allows you for resetting the artifact to basically do any build that's in the game. So again, it's fairly simple. Again, I'm gonna put this on Discord so you can under, you can actually look at the math to see that this is based on facts. Sometimes people will say, hey, go grind this, do that, right? And, and their stuff may be accurate, but it's not based on math. This is based on math and actual gameplay and my history doing this over no more seasons because again i need these because i want to build you know great builds and things that allow me to do the dungeon and also do build videos for you guys so again this is something i would recommend definitely doing again that's the video guys if you like it feel free to like the video subscribe my channel jump my discord and i'll see you guardians in the tower